Assessing the severity of aortic stenosis requires a meticulous multi-window approach. Because ultrasound is angle dependent, failing to use multiple views can lead to an underestimation of the jet velocity and therefore the severity in up to 20% of patients. The following five views are the gold standard for a comprehensive evaluation forming the basis of the continuity equation used to calculate the aortic valve area. The parasternal long axis view is the starting point for anatomic assessment and the first step in quantification. Evaluate the morphology, calcification, leaflet thickening and restricted motion domi, and measure the LVOT diameter. This is done in mid systole from the inner to inner edge of the septal endocardium to the anterior mitral leaflet usually 0.5 to 1 cm proximal to the wall. A small error in this diameter is squared in the area formula so take multiple measurements to ensure accuracy. Some others have recommended measurement at the annulus rather than 0.5 to 1 cm proximal to the wall. Parasternal short axis view often called the Mercedes-Benz view provides a cross-sectional look at the wall. The name comes from the appearance of the closed aortic wall in cross-section though it is upside down. This is the best view to identify the number of cusps example bicuspid versus tricuspid and occasionally quadricuspid. In some patients with excellent image quality you can perform 2D planimetry to manually trace the aortic wall orifice area, though Doppler method remains the primary standard. Apical five chamber view is the primary view for hemodynamic assessment because the ultrasound beam is usually most parallel to the flow of blood leaving the heart. Use pulsed wave Doppler to get LVOT VTI that is velocity time integral in the left ventricular outflow tract region and continuous wave Doppler or CW Doppler to get the aortic wall VTI. DVI Doppler velocity index is a crucial dimensionless ratio between the two values. Ensure the cursor is perfectly parallel